the fuck going on with y'all man welcome back to another episode of breaking bad now before we get into this episode make sure you guys look at the links down below you can find a link to become a member of this channel click that join button you know what i'm saying and join the wolfpack officially with that you will have early access to my youtube videos where i am five episodes ahead on all the shows that i'm watching and if you're interested in watching the full reactions instead you can head over to my patreon where i'm also five episodes ahead and last but not least you can find a link to my discord server down there as well click it join it and we'll be friends okay so last episode on bringing bad we i guess dissolved the whole todd situation it's all fucked up okay we're letting him stay on the team right um because that's the safest thing for everyone to do if we kill him it's fucked if we let him if we fire him it's fucked even more if we stay on the team it's still fucked but it's fucked less than the other two options <laughs> that's it is what it is okay um but he's definitely a loose cannon and uh he's a wacko he's a wacko you don't just shoot a kid without hesitation you just don't do that okay so there's that um and speaking of the team mike and jesse they want out they found a deal they got the methylamine and apparently someone wants to buy the methylamine but more importantly this man who who they met who i actually kind of like he seems a very like a, a calm smart businessman He's buying the methylamine mainly for getting rid of the blue. Because the blue is what's fucking up the production everywhere. Because everyone wants the blue. I imagine even there are even some meth heads that have heard of the blue, maybe from across the fucking United States or across the world, and are and are moving to, to Albuquerque to, to get a taste of the blue. I imagine that's actually happening. So uh, because the blue is the purest meth out there, it is in high demand, right? Um, but this man is buying the methylamine to, to, to get rid of the blue, finally, okay? And he's buying it for pretty much, if they if they all sold their share, five mil each would go to Jesse, Mike, and Walt. Five mil, that's enough. That's enough for your life, for your kid's life, maybe even after that. Probably not, because let, let's be honest, the prices are increasing nowadays. But that's definitely enough. So... Now we're seeing even more of Walt's greediness. Now he gave a reason. He tried to give a, I don't know, a reason uh, that that would make us sympathize with him. In that the gray matter with with Gretchen and you know the husband and whatever, um, that's now worth billions. Where he took a cop out for five thousand, right? But five thousand is nowhere near five million. I don't care if this meth business goes up to billions one day. He's the five mil is enough. What do you need more than five mil anyway? You know. I, I, after you pass a certain amount uh, amount of money, isn't it just isn't it just greed, right? Or maybe you're just thinking about your your, your legacy and your and your future generations. I don't know, but after, I feel like after a certain amount of money, you're good. You can just fucking sit down, sit my ties, go to the beach, and fucking smoke weed all day. As far as I'm concerned, that that's what I want to do. By the way, <laughs> I want to make enough money to where I'm good. I can stop working and just chill. That's what I'm trying to say. So like, yeah, we're we're seeing some more Walt's greediness. Um, but apparently Walt has another plan, okay? Uh, we ha they haven't revealed this plan yet. They're doing the good old Ocean's Eleven thing. Execute the plan first and then tell us afterwards, I hope. Uh, but Walt's very cocky smile, Heisenberg, you know, face has got me thinking he actually has a really good plan here. So I'm excited for this episode to see what that plan is. And um, let's go and get into it, man. This is Breaking Bad, season season five, episode seven. Like and subscribe. There. Let's jump. Your play, Walter. You're on your own. Oh, Walt's gonna talk to him. Okay. This 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 might be kinda cool. Walt's a pretty damn good talker. But I need distribution. Distribution. That's right. So if you agree to give up your cook and sell my product instead, I'll give you 35% of the take. 35? He's negotiating with these guys? Walt's balls. Ah, they're so fucking huge. <laughs> so it's grade school t-ball versus the new york yankees oh shit yours is uh, just some 
tepid off-brand generic cola what i'm making <clears throat> is classic coke dude walt what the fuck bro <laughs> that isn't being pissed away by some substandard cook damn now you listen to me oh shit i love it got the greatest meth cook in america no, the two greatest meth cooks in america right here and with our skills you'll earn more from that 35 percent than you ever would on your own wow oh he's so good <laughs> oh man his end distribution and if you give him five million dollars of the 15 million that you brought today just think of it as a finder's fee for bringing us together we have 40 pounds of product ready to ship ready to go are you ready are you ready motherfucker damn that's a good deal that's a good pitch also i'm kind of disappointed he's not wearing his heisenberg hat right now who the hell are you you know you all know exactly who i am say my name <laughs> what? I, don't, I don't have a damn clue who the hell you are yeah you do i'm the cook such an ego fucking balloon here. That's right. Now, say my name. Holy shit. <laughs> say it. Heisenberg. Oh, he fucking knows him. You're goddamn right. Oh, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> Walt, what the fuck? <laughs> Bro. Nah, nah, nah. I mean, that was cool as fuck. I'm not gonna lie. Fucking khaki ass motherfucker, Walt. <laughs> that was cool, though. Fucking Heisenberg. How did he... They didn't know who the fuck he was, but in a short two-minute conversation, he d established himself as the Alpha. That's not easy to do, dude, in any fucking situation or scenario. Especially to fucking other kingpins. And he just did that. Amazing. Just, you know, just Jesse, give me some time here, okay? I'll need a little help getting things up and running during this transition. You can at least do that for me, right? Huh? Come on, don't worry. We'll figure it out. I feel bad for Jesse, man. We know Walt wants to keep Jesse because I think, honestly, at this point, maybe Jesse's the only real friend that Walt has. I'm sure Walt Jr. is his friend, but that's more of his son. I think I think that's Walt ho holding on to that, to be honest. Because if it wasn't for Jesse, Walt would kind of be alone here, low key. No, don't think so. When I'm out, I'm out. I'm out too, Mike. Kid, just look out for yourself. You hear that, Jesse? Look out for yourself, bro. He's got to. He's got to just. Honestly, he needs to go cold turkey and just leave Walt hanging. I'm sorry, but that's what he needs to do. He's gonna get in trouble if he sticks around with Walt. He will. Now again, I'm probably sure Walt is gonna look out for Jesse. I'm not saying that he's that he's not, but it's dangerous around this man right now. Mm. You can tell Jesse feels bad for her. They can feel that connection, I feel like. Skylar and Jesse, like Walt's just stringing them along. They gotta feel that, right? I feel it from here. <laughs> okay. Bacon banana. Here's the thing. I come from a culture where I will try anything. I don't care if it sounds nasty. I don't care if it looks nasty. If it's food, I'm probably trying it. I try those. Bacon banana. Fuck it. Oh, dang it. I almost got them all that time. Very good. But actually, I've got an extra one for you this week. 603. 603. Where is that? Right down there. Oh. All right. I'll let you get to it. Thanks, Doc. Damn, this guy owns fucking like seven storage spaces? What the hell? 
Clearly not, they're not all his. They're probably for clients, I assume. That's some shady shit. Okay, so is that his money or is he hiding it for someone? What is this all about? Are each of those 150k each? I feel like that's what they're giving off. Or 15,000. Oh yeah, it says 100,000. Oh yeah, so, so it is 150k. Alright. That's Mike hiding it in se separate places. Five milli. Or maybe two milli. Uh, it's empty as usual. Families are pretty reliable with the pickups. Nobody complaining about wanting it all at once. Ah, they get it. Slow and steady wins the race. I guess this is it for a while. Don't worry about the families. They'll keep getting their deliveries. Good for Mike. He damn near looks 50, 60 years old, man. He has done his job. He has fucking... I mean, his experience is probably the most in the show. Even more than Gus, I'd say. So, good for him, man. To be finally done with such a shady type of work, you know? Destroy all his weapons in a place where no one's gonna find it. Except for him. So just in case he needs these things, he can go back, right? But hopefully he will never have to need it ever again. I kind of, dude, I kind of want to watch a fucking Breaking Bad's Mike spinoff. This man must have been through crazy missions. No? Damn, that actually sounds super interesting. Stash the car, leave the keys up there where no one will find it. Just in case he needs it. Hopefully never will. How's that restraining order working out for you? Uh, if you want me to read that, I'm gonna need my glasses. <laughs> They're not gonna find shit. They're not gonna find a damn thing. In the house, in the walls, under the floor, in the roof. You know damn well Mike already destroyed everything. Jesse, this... What we do? Being the best at something is a very rare thing. You don't just toss something like that. It's kind of true. It's very true. Being the best at something feels pretty damn good. Well, I'll figure it out, all right? What have you got in your life? Nothing. Nobody. Oh, wait, yes. Video games and go-karts. Oh, and when you get tired of that, what then? Uh-huh. And how soon will you start using again? I don't like this. Leave him alone, man. Leave Jesse alone. Leave Jesse alone. <laughs> Fucking Walt. What, just because I don't want to cook meth anymore? I'm lying down? How many more people are going to die because of us? No one. None. Now that we're in control, no one else gets hurt. You keep saying that, and it's bullshit every time. Always. You know what? I'm done. Get out. Power, bro. Get out of there. Get out. Fuck the money. And hey, make some more money. Do some other shit. Fuck the money. Just get out. I don't care. Good for you, bro. Hell yeah. Done. No, you're not. You're not done. You're not leaving. Because if you leave, you get nothing. You understand me? Nothing! Get out of there, Jesse. Good for you. Jesse! Bro. <sighs> Hell yeah. Unfortunately, hopefully that's not the end of Jesse in the show. I want to see more of Jesse, sure, but maybe in some other light. Maybe he'll, ha <laughs> you know what? Maybe he'll fucking hook up with Hank and not be a snitch, but maybe he'll help him along in the investigation. 
play favorites with it just because it used to be yours. No, I really don't play favorites with it, Hank. You got a bigger job than that. I mean, He's got I mean, a point. Forget the financial cost. I hear you're personally serving search warrants out in the field. That was an error in judgment. Won't happen again. You're damn right it won't. I'm just going to bottom line this for you. Their surveillance budget for Ermintrout is now zero. He's got a point. Maybe what Hank can do now is deal with these other cases that he definitely can deal with and then come back to the case when he's built more fucking brownie points with his uh, officer, leading officer here. Every one of these douchebags except for Airman Trout. You find out more about the lawyer? You want me to start tailing a lawyer? Like the shit ain't deep enough for you already? Hey, Remy said we couldn't follow Airman Trout. He didn't say anything about anybody else. Boss. True. Also, shout out to Gomi. He's a good friend. He's following, you know, his best friend's fucking. All right. Shall we get started? You know, I know that most of this, for all of this, is going to be new to you. Todd? Oh, shit. Hey, chemistry in high school? Face it. No. Okay. All right. As we well, go, Todd will definitely listen to Walt possible. every step of the way. But Walt's definitely going to miss Jesse, right? Todd's just a wacko. Every time I see that aluminum go into the batch, it just makes me cringe, you know? Like, they're making a product with aluminum in it, dude. Doesn't that sound just wrong? <laughs> Looks good. Looks good. Honestly, this whole mess... Uh, creating meth thing just seems like a rinse and repeat trial by error you know repeating process type thing you keep doing it eventually he'll get it that's how Jesse learned Jesse just did it with Walt a bunch of times and eventually he just learned it so Todd doesn't have to be a fucking super smart guy here he just needs to be alert and attentive and he seems uh, seems like that ooh sums up Oh, gotcha, bud. Hey. This is big. What the fuck is this guy carrying around a bunch of money for? <laughs> I do respect how Walt's not using any of this extra money to just eat out every day and buy chicken tikka masala, fucking top rom, like the top tier ramen, all this type of shit. He's, he's eating modestly. He's living his life modestly. Right, because he could easily just you know go buy some better gear, buy some fucking jewelry, but he's not. So that's cool. He did buy some cars though. Yeah, USB in there too. I didn't even know that. Damn. Some kind of record in there. Put your bracket with you. He's gonna do it. He's gonna flip. He's willing to give us airman truck. <laughs> oh God. Time for Throw a net around that son. Some there must be gods preying upon Walt on Walt's side because Walt heard that. A fucking what? What are the odds? <laughs> Now Walt's going to do something about it. Look, there's a small situation with the money. And I don't want to do this on the phone. Are you available? I can come by in a few hours. That's not good for me. Where are you now? I'm at the park with my granddaughter. Well, where exactly? Ooh. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I'm not far. I'll come to you. You just hang tight. He, Mike already knows something's up. Mike, he already knows something's up. Mike's compromised. 
fuck. Mike's compromised. <sighs> no, man. I actually got like really bad shivers because I fuck with Mike, but now it's over for him. And you know he's not going to snitch because he ain't no bitch. So. Passports, money, their eyes everywhere. I can't get close. I need you to pick up that bag and get it to me as soon as possible. You know how thick the crap storm is out there because of this? I told you not to use that lawyer. He's a hack. Shut up, Saul, and get the bag. Hey, Mike, I can get it to you, all right? Just tell me what to do. No kid. Look at Jesse. Trying to, even trying to look out for Mike at his... This is why Jesse's the best character, y'all. Yeah, I just can't up and leave like you, Mike. I've got a family. I've got people who depend on me. Yeah. Give him the bag, Walt. You will lose this 1v1. <laughs> you screw up. Get yourself followed by the DEA. And now, suddenly, this is all my fault. Why don't you walk me through this? Mike? We had a good thing, you stupid son of a bitch. We had Frank. We had a lab. It's true. We had everything we needed. It all it's true. ran like clockwork. Fring held the best meth ship and made ever. as much money as you ever needed. And Walt took him down, but he kind of had to. So, but there was some pride and ego sprinkled in there, just like Mike said. Chill. What's about to happen? <gasps> no. No. <laughs> I hate Walt. I don't like him. That's it. I'm done with this character. That's it. That's it. He's killing Mike. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Was he gonna kill Jesse next? Oh shit, he couldn't run anymore. Yeah, he's old and he got shot. Of course he can't run anymore. Oh, he just did he just die? Oh, he's dying. Fuck. Fuck you, Walt. That's it, bro. Piece of shit. This scene kind of reminds me of that one book. It's also a Key and Peele sketch of when the friend murdered the other friend. It's diff definitely a different circumstance, but it, does, it, it just reminds me of the whole scenery thing, right? Mike's dead. <laughs> you know, there are some characters in anime, TV shows, or movies where you, where you think they're indestructible because they just they're just strong, right? And Mike was one of those dudes. Fucking 50, 60 years old, still one of the best assassin bodyguards ever, right? that walk the earth and then they're taken out by some fucking egotistical mastermind jesus well yeah here we go again here we go again now i hate walt again <laughs> here we go for this whole fucking cycle until he does something badass again where i like him he does some cool dialogue and uh, but Wow, I don't think I've ever gotten back and forth with a character so much. Ever, actually. There was Jamie Lannister, but... You know, the ending of Jamie Lannister was just so stupid. I don't even... Whatever, right? But I'm going so back and forth with Walt, man. Oh my god, fuck. It's hurting me. <laughs> well, Mike's dead. Walt's probably gonna get, gonna get the rest of the nine names and kill them off himself. He's an assassin now. Sure, he took out the best assassin, so. Jesse's out. Good for him. Um, how is Jesse going to feel about Mike being dead? I don't know. Probably going to be really mad at Walt, probably. But then again, Walt's going to lie and say that Mike's gone to Forever Neverland. So, there's that. Damn. Damn, damn. Well, 
they caught Ermintrout. They got his money. So here's the question for the DEA. Is Hank going to feel satisfied that he got Ermintrout? Right? As long as the blue is on the streets, Hank will not give up. And that's as long as Walt and Jesse are... Well, as long as Walt is... Jesse's done cooking. As long as Walt is alive, Hank will still look for him. And I'm really hoping... We're getting to the end here. There's like, what, eight fucking nine episodes left. So we're actually almost done. Actually kind of making me kind of sad because it shows so goddamn good. <laughs> um, but yeah, so Hank is getting closer and closer, man. So that's going to be pretty cool. Um, and if ever, hey, if it ever comes down to a Walt and Hank 1v1, is Walt going to kill Hank? So far, Walt has poisoned a child. Shot Mike, who was a pretty damn good partner. Someone you could trust. You know? At this point, Walt is capable of probably shooting his brother-in-law. I don't think Walt will ever hurt Skyler or his kids. That's a, that's a fact. But everyone else, including Jesse, they're not safe. They're not safe. But I'm glad Jesse's trying to get out as soon as possible. He knows the danger that lies within Walt. I'm glad he's not sticking around. I'm glad. He needs to get out, dude. He needs to get out. Jesse and Mike were def are definitely... And Saul are definitely my top five. I'm gonna put Gus in there as well. I kind of have to put Walt in there too, just because... They're... I know he's a shit guy. But they're doing such a good job with this character. We've seen character development. We've seen character regression. And it's back and forth. He has some of the best dialogue in the show. He has some of the best moments. He's definitely such a great character if you just look at the overall scheme of things and not try to, you know, label him as a fucking dickhead. Because that's what he is right now. He's, he just killed Mike. Right? He's a murderer and whatnot. He's a poisoner of kids. Yes, he's a dickhead. But his character, I ain't gonna lie, is fucking top tier. You gotta put him as one of those top tier characters ever. Because he is. So, I'm not gonna deny that. Anyway. I guess rest in peace, Mike. He definitely lived a life full of multiple lives within it. I mean, dude, this guy was a master assassin. He was just a pro. He was just a pro, right? He was a man's man. So, yeah, he's good. And hopefully Kaylee's going to be good. Hopefully she grows up. Hopefully someone, some random person that Mike worked with feels sorry for Mike. Hopefully, actually, hopefully Walt gives Kaylee money. That should have been Mike's last request, honestly. He should have just told Walt, Walter, make sure my daughter gives, when she turns 18, give her some money, all right? Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> but yeah. Um, all right, well, I guess I can't wait to watch the next uh, b and episode. Also, I'm fully aware there is a, a part one and a part two. I don't know what, what am I? I can actually look right now. Am I part of the part one or part two? Um, at ne the next episode is the end of part one, okay? And there are 16 episodes total. Okay, so, yeah, we are almost done with part one. I imagine th there might be a time skip, I don't know, within part one and part two. We'll see. But, um, man, char character deaths is, is the sign of uh, a series ending for sure. And uh, I guess the only thing that I can say now that I hope is I hope this ending is not as bad as the Game of Thrones season eight. I hope, I hope. Actually, I was okay with the first four Game of Thrones season eight episodes. It was just the last two episodes that I just wish I never watched, <laughs> Loki. <laughs> or I wish they would just redo those episodes, right? Um, but yeah, but luckily you guys in the comments have been telling me that the show does not end as bad as Game of Thrones, so that's great. Um, and if this show doesn't end as bad as Game of Thrones, then I will definitely can definitely put it over Game of Thrones as the better TV show. But I have to watch it until the end before I make that assumption or make that confirmation. Okay. So anyway, fire. Rest in peace, Mike. But it was fire. Can't wait to watch the next episode. Before I end this reaction, though, guys, make sure you look at the links down below. 
you can find a link to uh, become a member of this channel. Click that join button and join the Wolfpack officially. With that, you will have early access to my YouTube videos where I am five episodes ahead on all the shows that I'm watching. Okay. And if you want to watch the full reactions instead, you can head over to my Patreon where I'm also five episodes ahead. And last but not least, you can find a link to my Discord server down there as well. Click it, join it, be happy. Other than that, I'm out of here. Y'all have a good one and I'll see you off in the next episode of Breaking Bad. Aight. Peace.